Great job. We're right where we want to be. No question about it. Enjoy this time. Get away from it. And no matter what you're doing, it's better than my vacation, right? I'm cruising the Baltic with my in-laws. So... <laughs> Where's Pretty Boy Floor? He's still getting ready? He's playing in his Jerry Curl juice. Yeah. Hey, there he is. All right, here's what we got for Mr. Camardi. You're going to harness the tire on your belt. You're going to go up the hill, sprint back. Go. Good luck. You see your daddy? Hey, buddy. What's up, man? What's going on, kid? Hmm? Woo! It's a little warm today. Zoe, do you like New York, honey? Yeah. Back when T-Rex played college football, they wore leather helmets. <laughs> they had shoulder pads that looked like what girls wear under their sweaters. Because he's been in camp longer than the rest of us have been alive. Yeah. What's up, man? What's up, fellas? Have a good season. Thank you, bro. Appreciate it. Toast to the 2010 Jets. Super Bowl champ. Cheers. Yeah, you go through all this just to provide for the family. <laughs> weeks of preparation and excitement all leading up to the Jets coming to Cortland and we'll be here for all of it. I'm Amy Johnson for News Channel 9. It's the day before camp opens. Cortland, New York is making its final preparations. So are the Jets who have finally hammered out the details of a new contract. Okay, so five-year deal. These are the uh, base salaries. Today I think it's the uh, 29th of uh, July 2010. Sweetheart, okay, hey, the Jets are crazy. I just signed a two-year extension. Okay, so you can go shopping, but keep it down. All right, babe, all right. I don't know, but take care. All right, bye. Appreciate you coming out here and, and uh, showing these new guys. We got our draft picks right here. Yeah. And I have a funny feeling there's a, a, a few more believers than maybe that you know that was here last year. Yeah. Now we got to pass the physical test, and that starts tomorrow when we put the pads on. But we appreciate everything. We got to go to work, and, and thanks yeah. again. All right. No doubt about it, Rex Ryan has a presence. But he also has a problem. As his players arrive at camp, one is conspicuous in his absence. Harry, just be careful about that game, bro. <laughs> it's a level of disappointment that Darrell is not here. 
Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm the second guy here, so I'm not sure he's not here. In his absence, we have to step up. We have to take care of what we need to take care of. Business is business. He has to handle his business, and, you know, it doesn't have anything, you know, anything to do with me or any other player that's here. Cornerback Darrell Revis has not reported to camp. He's the Jets' best player. Negotiations for his new contract are at an impasse. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get started. We have one goal as an organization, don't we? One goal as an organization, and that's to win a Super Bowl, right? And that's it. How do we get it done? I want to lead the league in wins. That's what I want on offense. Lead the league in wins, okay? We straight with that? Defense expectations. Hey, guys, we don't have Revis in this building right now. Does it matter that Revis is not here? Damn, he's pretty good. <laughs> he's pretty good. Okay. But you know what, guys? It ain't about one guy. It's about leading the league and wins on defense, isn't it? Special team expectations. I want to lead the league in something. What is it? Wins. How about that? If we play at our best, we will beat every team in this league playing at their best. So who, who's it on? Whose shoulders does it fall on? Ours. We affect how this thing turns out, don't we? And it starts with training camp. We got to have a great damn training camp, man. Last year, hey, we were under the radar. That's a good place to be. That. The best place to be is when expectations are high. And now let's go out and prove everybody right. We know we're better than you. We don't give a if you know it or not. We don't, we don't give a if you give us your best game. We're going to give you our best game, and we're going to beat the out of you. How's that? Let's go get it. So for good luck on the first day of training camp, we'll look at Rex's uh, speakers. The old Chuck Taylor, Black High Tops. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I got a certain brand of shoes that I wear. <laughs> got them old Dr. J, though. Rex, you got them padded levels on? Well, you know me. I got to wear them one day. I've been doing it for about 24 years or something like that. One year we didn't do it. It was Arizona, our second year. What happened to us? Okay, couldn't stop a nosebleed is what happened to us. It's like, this is what works, and I'm going to have those things on. Get it going, babe. Get it going. <laughs> See that, man? I mean, that's when you know you're handsome. When guys talk about you. We could just get our head coach to come out of his shell. Yeah. If you don't know where Rex Ryan is headed, give him a minute. He'll let you know. Yeah, here we come, baby. Here we come. Here come the Jets, babe. Ryan has plenty of brio, but he's also got bona fides. Last year, he built the league's best defense and came within a game of the Super Bowl. We already know what's going to be written, right? Three home teams advance and the... You know, a lot of guys say, man, if I go in a dark alley, you know, I want to take, you know, I would take Warren Sapp, I would take Ray Lewis. But I'm taking Rex Ryan. Hey, LC, I would have been all over your ass if I would have been against you on that play. He talks like us. Next time you, you punch Sanchez in the face for that kind of pass. <laughs> See what he's saying, always working on his finish? Coaching his becomes, is his birthright. It becomes your technique, you know? So it's here, boom, laying it down, laying it down. Snatch and get over, you know what I mean? Rex's father is Buddy Ryan, architect of what many consider football's greatest defense, the 85 Bears. Before that, he was an assistant coach on the only Jets team ever to win the Super Bowl. It's gotta be fun for him to watch you. Oh, man. To get this job when he was with the Jets for eight years. Yeah. And then, of course, you get my brother in Cleveland. So yeah. now, so he's really got his football fix, yeah. you know? Yeah. I grew up under my dad going to training camps, and I saw Joe Namath. I saw Bud Grant coach. I saw Mike Dick coach. Maybe I picked up something along the way. What you doing? Most coaches leave bed checks to subordinates. Rex Ryan uses the first night of camp to set the tone for his team. If some of those Skittles or something's missing, I don't know what happened. All right, night, buddy. 
Revis? Revis, where are you? <laughs> Dave, you good? I'm good. All right, buddy. All right. I wish. Go and I wish. Come on, Revis. Come on home. Come on. Let's go. Out the... This would be some light reading oh, well. for you. It's every negative article they wrote about us. Thank you. All right, buddy. I like that. Yeah, you know. That's the motivation. Just a little, you know, poop hey, material. It's gonna make me sleep better, too. Let's get it on, babe. Rex Ryan is always good copy. But fact is, the Jets are a big story. They're entering the season as one of the favorites for the Super Bowl. And while owner Woody Johnson is used to big business, he's not quite used to being big news. Yeah, it's all on the Jets. Holy mackerel, Mike. I mean, Johnson Johnson doesn't get this much. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Rex, it's a caption contest. Do you want to see some of them? Oh, yeah. I gotta just be getting killed. <laughs> Captions. Krispy Kreme is our new sponsor. Wilson <laughs> <laughs> got a sack. Wilson <laughs> got a sack. <laughs> <laughs> I get 10% of, Re of Rebus's contracts. <laughs> they can't get a deal done with Rebus, but then what he found a way to get you and, and Mike signed. Well, you know, I just thought of a way to negotiate the Rebus deal. I'll give him his my contract. I'll take the one that, that he turned down. <laughs> and I think we'll just go for it. The Jets did sign plenty of players this offseason. Among them, four stars with some impressive credentials. What I've done in the past is in the past. You know, I'm here to do all I can uh, for this team right now. Only two players in NFL history have scored more touchdowns than LaDainian Tomlinson. I've seen a lot, been through a lot in this league but I'm a new face here. Jason Taylor is a former NFL Defensive Player of the Year. I'm not here to, to change anything. I'm just here to win the championship. How he could have been available. Yeah. When you look at his attributes, those guys are so hard to find. Cornerback Antonio Cromarty is a Pro Bowl player and at 26, just entering his prime. I don't care if he was running or not. He's not going to outrun 31. Santonio San Holmes was the MVP of Super Bowl 43. This is the funnest part of football right here. Had to make it look easy. There you go. Nice. Hey, nice catch, LTFO. Did you see for Marty? Oh, JT! So far, the new guys look good in green. Let's see the great San Antonio Holmes. Give it to him! Put your hands oh! up! Number 10? Number 10? Man, who traded for him? What a smart that guy was. Oh, baby! Good job, man. Not everyone at camp is a star. Undrafted free agents Brashton Satelle and Aaron Kia are a long way from making the team and even further from home. Yeah, we're back from the same, same town. Same town. Back in, back in Hawaii. Same university that we came out of here. Like, when I wake up, it's like 12 o'clock at home, like 12 a.m. So, not too much time talking to my family. Especially this far east. Mm -hmm. You know, you gotta stick. You gotta stick together, cause uh, we recognize each other pretty easy. Ponies just stick out. Yeah. <laughs> gotta learn how to run block all over again. And it's just like different calls, whole other language, man. So it's hard to pick up. Key is a player that came out of Hawaii in a spread offense, and uh, hasn't really been exposed to a lot of the techniques, you know, uh, around the league. Every football player's dream to play in the NFL. I'm here to be on the team, 
just do what I can to improve myself every day, get better every day. Ah, uh, inside out. I'll pop that head down, inside out. Your mirror on him and your setup was fine. Settle and anchor. Settle, anchor. The 76 is awful. Oh my God, is he bad. Hey, Aaron. Aaron, you got to be right in position, just the subtle. Boom, you have right there. You got to really, you have a real strong inside hand. I mean, I don't know my chances, but I still have a chance, so let's make the best of it. Brashton Satelle is doing much better. Who's the kid that checked uh, Rat? That was good. I think it was Satelle. Satelle? Good. Because I, I see him, he's smart. Satelli looks really good. Now this this was a hell of an improvement by Brashton, right? You know, he's been an interesting guy since we since we signed him, and uh, I think he's played really hard. Uh, he's a very instinctive guy, and you got you got to play this thing out to the end, and that's how you make big plays. That's what we say. That's that's playing like what? Jet. That's playing like a jet. Okay. You know, does he does he have enough? on tape so far. That's it, Brashton. We're going to have a personnel meeting this weekend. I'm sure that's going to be a topic of conversation. Unfortunately, there won't be a whole lot to evaluate. Well, loosen that? Yeah. Three days into camp, Satelli sprains his ankle. Thank you. Keep talking so I can hear you. Let me know what's going down. <sighs> Another rookie linebacker, number 51, Kevin Basbeck, has made the coaching staff take notice. I mean, I, I mean, I, words can't even describe how I'm going to feel, but I mean, it's going to be just like overwhelming dream come true. Uh, I get a, I get a chance just to be just, I don't know, just to uh, live up to the expectations and show what I can do. Does KB win every single time in the one-on-ones? KB, this is really good, okay? Real nice job here. This isn't terrible by KB. When he gets a little more season, he knows he can knock the out of his wide out. Mm -hmm. The guy's got some ability. He looks like a freak, you know what I mean? He's got a huge upper body. He's got pass rush ability. He's a tremendous young man. Just got to go out there and take care of business because, I mean, at the end of the day, I got to prove all that correct or I can be a bust. <laughs> He's athletic, but not invincible. Cursed with bad knees, Basped joins his fellow rookie on the sidelines. Um, I just want to give you an update on this kid, Kevin Basped. Okay. You know, he's got really bad knees. Hopefully I'm good by tomorrow morning. But we'll see. But where's the kid's head? Does he know what he's dealing with? I think it's spinning right now. All right. I feel bad for the kid. He's just young and he has this much of a problem around the head. Yeah. I mean, I'm back going full speed, trying to just, you know, make the best of it because you only get one shot. Kevin Bashped? Mm. Did you hear? So. It's something about his knee. Yeah, they, they, they think it's over. <laughs> I, I mean, I don't feel 100%, but I feel like I, I'm still out there ready to, to compete, um, giving a good look. You admire the courage he has. But at the end of the day, you, you got to, you know, you got to do what's right by him. You, you know, I just feel bad for the kid. You, you the kid's, the kid is a great kid, too. Yeah. I mean, I'm not going to be playing, so I just got to work hard and work at it and just get there. That's what you get, Joe! That's what you get, Joe! Revis may not be in camp, but his presence is everywhere. Now that you got that receiver on your island, you can keep him there for the whole game. But make sure you name your island. They call mine Revis. Just, uh... Have you just seen Revis on a commercial? Yeah, have you seen it? 
Yeah, it's actually pretty funny. Revis isn't talking, but his agent has plenty to say. It's general manager Mike Tannenbaum's job to get his all pro back in camp. You know, it's funny, and what, I, what we've said here consistently between Woody, Rex, is that look, the object of the exercise is to get Darrell signed. So anything we put in the newspaper that is not going to help that goal, we're not going to say. I would say, Darrell, we wouldn't, I, I'm proud to be part of the people that drafted you, and I want you to retire yet, but outside of one transaction, you know, you're the highest paid guy. Yep. I think you and I philosophically are there. We both want him to be a Jet for life. Yeah, great. Sounds good. All right, thanks. Okay. Huh. I'll tell you what, Woody, that was like the most non-negative conversation I think I've ever had with him. You know what's interesting? You know, you know what he thanked me for? He said, he said he, his wife heard me compliment him on one of my interviews today, and he's like, you know, that, that, that my wife really appreciated it. And, and like, you forget, like, this guy's a human being too. Like everybody. And he's gonna go home to see his wife, and like, like, every, like we all deal with the same. Always have to deal with our wives, you know? Yeah. It's, it, it's funny, you know, like. It all comes down to that. Just as domestic bliss requires a happy wife, a championship team needs a healthy defense and the Jets are in luck. Defensive stopper Chris Jenkins is almost ready to get back on the field after missing nearly a year to injury. I know what the coaches want. I know what my teammates want. They just want me to be out there during game time at my best. And they know once I'm out there and I'm at my best, it's a very beautiful thing to see, so. If Jenkins is the defense's beauty, then linebacker Bart Scott is its beast. <laughs> you know who said. Not surprisingly, He's also Rex Ryan's alter ego on the field. Hey, Bart, anytime we get a base call, I want you talking. Like, come on, hey. You know, y'all so crazy. Get going, all right? Get them going. I know what wins in the league, and that's what wins. Bart brings that energy and that, that kind of passion for the game, that toughness. I mean, this is, this is a, a man's league. You better be a tough ass, and, and Bart is. He's, he's part of that passion that we won. All day. All day. Yeah, Shotty. You heard that, Shotty. You heard that, Shotty. You better go, you better go regroup. <laughs> the key is to try and make somebody so mad at me they forget about their job and the scheme. You drink that Mountain Musa today? I know you ain't regular. Oh. Mar Marbrunello at the first Stetson Man commercial. <laughs> Stetson. <laughs> It's too hard to, to BS people, to bullshit people. It's, it's easier just to be yourself and say what you feel. Some people won't agree with it, some people will not. But at the end of the day, who gives a You know, every once in a while, you gotta say, hey, Bart, shut up. Shut up, Bart. Shut up. You nacho! Shut up. Nachos aren't even like real Mexican food. <laughs> I'm gonna tell Bart that. That'll get him. Mark Sanchez may not have a sharp tongue, but he does have great hands. Of course, he's paid to throw passes, not catch them. Best hands in the building doesn't even get used. I know that. Except when we have Shut. It's my job to make this big jump this year and own the team and be the leader and master this offense. Push it out there, Bert. Time clock. There you go. Oh. 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 Whoa, I just throw it in there, kid. See Marks throw outside the numbers there? Oh yeah, he had a couple of beauties. This is his team. Nice job, that's it. <laughs> Tempo, Mark. Let's go. Play fast. You want to pump that guy to freeze him and then put the ball back outside. Taxi trio kill Raider. Not for uh, not for strong side pressure. Very nice. 
you know, he's still learning, and he wants to be great. And the, the standards and the expectations that I have for him can't even begin to come close to the expectations he has for himself. Excuse me, real quick. I need your goals. Right. Got it. Right here. Well, I think goals are really important, especially for a young player to kind of have something to, 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 to steer him, you know, kind of have a road map of where he wants to get to. Leadership, but more specific than that, what are you trying to, are you trying, you know, I wrote an example, this is my team. Yeah, this is my team. This is my team. I'm going to be a great leader. That's not, it's not um, arrogant. It's true. It's my team. I'm going to be a great leader. I'm going to pick people up. I, this is awesome. Right, it's a really good start. Really good. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. A great quarterback can take a team a long way. And on day four of camp, one of the game's all-time greats arrives at Cortland. It's Broadway Joe Namath, along with his daughter, Jessica. Gentlemen. All right, Sir, how get you it doing? done. All right, you good to, to see you. I, I, hey, I can, I, I can handle the snaps, you know. It's the shotgun snaps I'm not too sure about. Say, look at this. I got goosebumps out here, it's man. This is here, something. Right? Yeah. How are you? Yeah. Good. No, Namath and Ryan share a common quality, fearlessness. Namath proved his medal 40 years ago. Well, you've all read and heard all kinds of free game dope during the week. Namath has not been bashful this week, and he has said that the Jets are going to win. He doesn't even predict it. He said, I guarantee a Jet victory. Namath made good his guarantee. And though his is still the Jets' only championship season, he believes that might change soon. I really believe the optimism that we have is legitimate. What bad teams have targets on their backs? Not many, huh, or any. It's only natural that these players and coaches know they're gonna be better this year. Believe they're gonna be better this year. This is Edwards, a big receiver. He's... Oh, it's definitely starting to rain. This is going to be live, this period right here, okay? This is live. Short yardage. Time for Chris Jenkins to get back to work. You know, it ain't too, hey, hey Coach, it ain't, ain't too many times where I done really got to a drill like this and felt like I done really needed it. This is one of them times I need this joint. Get this right. Go line, man. Here we go. One's first one. Come at me, baby. You already know better, this grown man here. That a way to run it, LP. Tell me, it broke. They love goal line. I know it's raining, honey, but you still can't have those fumbles like that, see? Get your ass out! Get what? What? That's my drill! Not my drill! What's that? Take that helmet off out here. You know that? It's practice. You can't find me today. Here it comes! Work down! Damn, I was hoping he'd score. Defense. That's called get your ass whooped. Sit down, baby. The defense's good day comes at the expense of Mark Sanchez and the offense. Put your bottom hand. If it drops a little bit, honey, that's a problem. See that? Dang it. I still get frustrated over seeing quarterbacks drop their bottom hand on this snap. Okay, okay. The ball ends up on the ground more times than it should, just because they're using the wrong technique. I'm not in the league, but I can tell those guys that because I know. I mean, I, I promise you, there's more room for air dropping that hand, either one, than there is 
just clamping on it, right? The center butts and your hands clamp. Little finger to thumb, you see that? Little finger to little finger. That's how he changed and started doing it. You know, I've always had a theory, I have a theory, Brian, that I think the speeds change between practice and game time. I watch receivers run in practice and they're going, okay. You watch them in the game, they're here faster. Yeah, and see, I believe and, that. You know, that's a tough thing to deal with because you don't want to wear your receivers out much. But the fact of the matter is, I'm watching that crossing pattern right there. And maybe he's supposed to slow down some. No. Nope. But San Antonio sure as hell isn't doing a, now go. Huh? What's he doing? He's not sprinting. If he was running the route like he was getting the ball, mm -hmm. he'd be another three yards ahead there. So Joe, you had a reputation for having a good time, too, right? On the field, sure. Did Off you, the field, I mean, it was all work. Did you, did you <laughs> 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 I love the play. <laughs> The top left. Pressure, pressure. Oh, head knocked yours out. Yeah, we go, champion. I'm just going to launch one. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Get there. <laughs> oh, got out. The first one to hit the upright. Oh, to hit it. That's too strong. I'm too strong. I, I might be too strong for this. <laughs> I might be too strong. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Oh. Oh. Look, look, look. Oh. Oh. Please tell me you got that. Please tell me you got that. What's that? How's your shoulder feel, by the way? My pride is in the tank. Forget about your pride. My shoulder hurts. That was a good throw. For the players, fun and games checked out a long time ago. Jobs are at stake, including at fullback, where the incumbent is 16-year vet Tony Richardson, number 49. Come on, old man! Come on, old man! Oh, yeah! Tony Richardson has seen it all. He was a guy that was instrumental last year in, in, in helping Mark develop. For me last year, I mean, he was a crutch. <laughs> From a leadership standpoint, one of the most vocal, positive, influential guys we have in the locker room. Every chance you get, man, let's hit somebody dead in their damn mouth. I'm only playing around today. Let's go. Just so three. One, two, three. Yes. Yes. You know, I've been around. I've been around, you know, the Cowboys in 94 with Troy Aikman and Emmitt Smith, Mike Irvin. I uh, had a chance to work with Marcus Allen in Kansas City, so those guys transferred a lot of knowledge and leadership to me. T. Rich, you can come out, and you've been in this league for 16 years. You have a routine. I'm not going to tell you how to get ready for practice, but if you want to come out 10 minutes early, you're more than welcome to come out with us. But you young guys, you don't have a choice. You meet me out early for practice, okay? Those young guys are Jason Davis, number 43, and John Connor, number 38. Hunts back of Notre Dame. <laughs> We got two young guys we feel really good about. The guy, again, that stood out today is uh, John Connor. Rex always says, you know, that he's got a short neck for a reason, but you really saw him today. He's got no regard for his body, and uh, he's a guy that we really expect to make big jumps in training camp with pads on. I will say this, our young fullback we drafted from Kentucky, I mean, he was pounding people. That was good to see. I'm always happy when we're right on a draft pick, and you can see this early, that this kid is the thumper that we think he is. This, this kid's been rocking people. Who is that kid? That's the kid we drafted from Kentucky. Mike Tannenbaum, he always says, you know, Rex, right, I'll give you one draft pick. Who's your guy? I'm watching tape on a linebacker, and all of a sudden I see this fullback from Kentucky just nailing him. I'm like, hey, you know what, Mike? I don't want the linebacker. I want the fullback. I think, I think Connor will be a, a non-terrible pick. What do you think? <laughs> what the hell he put on Calvin today? Yeah. Did you hear that? <laughs> Hey, good job. Damn, that was mean. <laughs> torpedo, Damn. That's part of the job, just being a fullback. You got to be a physical player. That's a physical man now. Yeah. That's the biggest linebacker we have. He's made some bone-crushing blocks. And then you have the name John Connor. 
the Terminator. That's been my nickname for a long time. When I was in class, they say John Connor. Isn't that the guy from the Terminator? You hear that all the time. You got my hand-picked fullback in there. <laughs> Go get him, Terminator! Oh, oh, oh! The Terminator! He's like a battering rap, and I'm impressed with the kid so far. That, that's what you want in your fullback. I want the Terminator! Jason Davis has neither a nickname nor roots. He's a journeyman, having played for four teams in four years. Jason Davis, he's at that year where, you know, he's going to get it done or he's not. And right now, he's showing nothing but promise. It's one of those things where, as, you know, I'm stuck between a legend and an upstart, and I'm the guy in the middle. I'm learning behind one of the best to ever do it that's still doing it. I'm getting pushed by a young guy that's just as hungry as I am. A play here or a play there, you could be the guy. All three of us. We got a hell of a competition at fullback now. People are going to be like, all right, if these guys cut anybody, we're, we're snagging them. We need a fullback, we're going to look at the New York Jets. Because these guys are all going to play in the league. This is going to be an unbelievable battle. But, you know, how if we play them, you can put Revis on them. Say, so here, you want to shut them down? Here, Revis, go take that hey, son of bitch's lunch. Next time you talk to Revis, tell him the guy from Pitt who knows me. Get busy and yeah. let's get this thing done. Oh, ain't no question. <laughs> We're meeting with him right now as we speak. To meet Revis's demands halfway, Tannenbaum hits the road, driving halfway back to New York City. He, he wants to be the highest paid player. He wants to be, it's really, really important to this player. Yeah, but he's under contract for three years. It was really plain. You have his rights, but he's under contract. And we think we're gonna have a better team this year than last year. If Darrell plays, that would be great. Revis has shut out all media. The meeting will take place in secret at a diner in Sullivan County. <laughs> they haven't said one thing that I agree with at all. You know what's so funny? It's like we're so freaking far apart that I feel like a failure. Like, like six months later, we haven't moved, moved the needle. I just don't get it. Like, tried everything. God, I just wish I had another card to play here. You know, like a, a one-year deal, a four-year deal, a ten-year deal. In good conscience, we can move on. Maybe we're going to go trade for a corner, but in good conscience, why don't we just move on and we'll try again next year. The Jets are putting a wrap on week one by taking the gloves off. It's their annual green and white scrimmage. Full pads, full tilt. This is our first opportunity. You know, people have come up here very curious. What's, what's the defense going to look like? Okay, is it going to be a drop off from last year? Are these guys going to be, any, be able to stop anybody without 24 out there? Okay, our offense is new look. Okay, they're improved, but they still need to know. Defense rules the roost around here. That doesn't change. We ain't playing the Ravens or anything like that. We're playing against each other. Let's go out here and compete, baby. Let's get better today, man. One, two, three. Right. Hey, spacing, spacing. On the first play from scrimmage, a new jet earns his wings. Rain and hunt. Go, go on, see. Take it on, 
Yeah. He didn't back off enough. LT smoked him. It's the call. You yeah. manned up on LT. Yeah. Sorry. Dave won't be that close ever again. Ever again. Kind of, kind of hesitated at the hitch mark. Oh yeah. Because he thought Just I was going to stop his feet a little. Because what else do you run out there? Right. Smart. He must have been in the league for a while. <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> Playing in a few games. Yeah. It's results business. The offense is sharp. Exciting. And excited. He's good. Good protection. Nice ball, Marquette! Nice ball, baby! Stem late. Stem it. Stem it. Stem it. Right into it. Right into it. And we missed the tackle. I mean, that's what this batting practice. We were late. These are all good lessons to learn. Here's the deal. If you have family here, okay, or a significant other, you don't have curfew. If you're a loser <laughs> and don't have anybody here, all right, the tough <laughs> you got curfew at 1230, okay? Hey, baby love. Oh, how are you? We kid. Because this is Davis. This is, uh, okay, Mosabi. This, this is the part you're not involved in. All right. To suit up in the NFL is every football player's dream. But camp isn't for dreamers, it's for ball players. The last and the least are the first to go. Hey Kevin, come on in. Here, have a, have a seat over here. Hey, we're uh, we're gonna let you go, and uh, you know we just want to thank you for everything. You really did a good job. Um, just seems like in talking with our doctors, for you to have a long, productive, and successful career is gonna be against the odds. You know, I never tell anybody that's impossible, but it seems like you you put up with a lot. You know, in dealing with your needs, which is a real credit to you. Yeah. But we just feel like as an organization. You know, the longer you're here, things aren't going to change. So in fairness to you, you know, if you can get another opportunity, let's do it now. So Aaron, here's the situation. Um, the organi organization's decided to make a move. We're going to okay. go ahead and release you. All right. If nothing happens, you know, with another NFL team, I've got plenty of contacts in the UFL. So there's certainly opportunities to play. Any questions on your end or? Um, so what do I do from here? What it's, what's going to happen now? We're going to have you process some paperwork. I'll have Brock follow you back. We'll get your playbooks, and then we'll get you rolling. All right. All right, man. Hey, I just want to want to thank you for all your hard work. Wish you a lot of luck moving forward. All right. Yeah. He has his books in his room. I just want to take that from him. Good luck, Aaron. Good luck to you, all right? 